watercolor from the tube mixed with egg yolk and just a little water will create egg tempera. Our colors will be yellow, red, purple, blue, green, yellow ochre and burnt sienna. Mix yellow, egg yolk and water together. Do the same again, only this time mix red and white with egg yolk and water. Its creamy consistency helps flow smoothly onto paper, wood and canvas and reminds me of oil painting. It's also not as transparent as watercolor, nor is it as opaque as gouache. For the upper sky I used aquamarine blue and purple, or you can just add red to your blue. Then I forgot to switch on my camera, sorry for that. This art form is a lot about glazing. You don't want your mix to be too watery, but also not too eggy. Unfortunately, there is no exact recipe for the egg, color and water mix. The best way is to practice on a palette your strokes and get a feel of it. We will start painting the mountains with green, yellow ochre, egg yolk and water, adding more ochre to our mix later. Notice how nicely it covered my accidental purple splash. Each layer of paint will be dry to the touch in a couple of minutes, but for a finished painting to cure it takes months. Now let's use some burnt sienna. For this application I suggest a white brush so the paint won't dry too fast. Mix a small amount of color with egg yolk and this time more water will add transparency. The yellow color of egg yolk will not affect the color of the paint. In fact, egg yolk dries crystal clear. Now comes the part I enjoy a lot, layering brush strokes and creating rich colors. Paint mixed with egg cannot be stored, so prepare small amounts and mix as you go. Since the brownish layer is dry, I will add green with my fan brush. Some ochre and then I will wet my brush with just enough water to blend the colors together. Let everything dry while you mix red with burnt sienna. The rust color will add to the glow of our sunset. Did you know that watercolor, gouache and ink paintings can be glazed with egg tempera for added color and satin look? I might put a light color glaze over my last tutorial called Starry Night Sky. That should be interesting. How about a little bit more glazing? Ochre for light and dark brown for contrast. Before we finish our painting, let's put a little tree on that big hill. I hope you had fun today and welcome back.